One of my absolutely favorite things about Java is how powerful it is. So let's take a look at how we can build an AI powered web application in nothing but Java in just a couple of lines of code. So here I am on Spring Initializer. I've selected Maven and Java for my settings, Spring Boot 325, and I'm packaging a jar with Java 21. I've had a couple of dependencies, Vaadin for building that web UI, Spring Boot DevTools for auto reloading changes as we develop, and OpenAI to have Spring AI configured to use OpenAI. So let's hit generate here to create a new project. And then let's go ahead and open up this in our IDE. All right, so here we have the project open in our IDE. The first thing that we're gonna configure is our application properties file, and we're gonna add a OpenAI key. In my case, I have mine as a environment variable, so I'm gonna just inject it here. Like that, and that's all the setup we need for Spring AI. Now, the second thing we need is a UI for actually asking questions from the AI. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to create a new class called main view. I'm going to add a route annotation to say that this should be our root view. And we're going to extend from the bottom vertical layout like this. I'm going to create a constructor here and inject the chat client from Spring AI like this. And what I want to have here is a text field and a button up top where we can ask a question. And then we have a paragraph where we can add the answer. So let's go ahead and create that text field first. So we're using a bottom text field. A bottom button for asking the question. and a paragraph for the answer. Now I'm gonna add these to the view. So adding to the vertical layout. I want the question and uh, button to be next to each other. So I'm gonna wrap them in a horizontal layout. So I'm gonna add the question and the ask button there. And then we're gonna add the answer paragraph underneath them like that. All right, so let's go ahead and build and run this and just see that we're on the right track. All right, good. So we have a text field here. We have a button here. Nothing's hooked up yet, but let's take care of that. So the first thing that we need to do here is to hook up our ask button to add a quick listener here. So we're going to get an event and then we can do something when we get that event. Now that's something that we want to do is we want to get the answer paragraph and set the text to whatever we get from calling our chat client with the value from the question text field like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into our browser here. Let wait for that to reload. And then we're going to ask it to tell us a joke about PHP. And there we go. Why did a PHP developer go broke? Because he kept trying to echo everything. Okay, so there you had it. Just a few lines of Java code, and we're able to build a fully functional web application that calls Spring AI. Now, there are tons of other components in Vaadin that you can use to hook up all kinds of cool things. So please try this out, play around with it, build something cool, and let me know what you did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.